Welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. In this short review, I would like to highlight the latest addition to the Chronomat family for Breitling. This is the automatic GMT40. Now this will retail at $5,600 and come in with a diameter of 40 millimeters, 11.7 in overall height with a lug to lug dimension of 47.4. So it is nice and trim and thin and I would say elegant on wrist. And just for reference, my wrists are 7.25 inches in circumference. The watch will weigh in at about 150 grams on the lovely Rulo bracelet, which in my opinion is a reason to buy a chronomat. It is a distinctive design paying tribute to the 1980s but it also carries a lot, you know, just with the visual aspect with your mostly brushed finish and the high polished chamfered edges, the rounded nature of each one of the members, the link members of the bracelet. It really looks great and it makes the watch very distinctive. There is no way that you can fuse this with a Speedmaster or Seamaster or Rolex or Tudor. It is distinctively brightling. And I think that's a great thing. It has its own style. Now, I will say that this watch is technically a diver. We have 200 meters of water resistance, a signed screw down onion style crown with twin gaskets and notice your bezel. It is uh, not indexing the 24 hour for the GMT. It is an elapsed timer. It's a dive timer on this watch. So technically a diver with the addition of a GMT complication and a nice trim package coming in at 11.7 in overall height. So it's a little bit more substantive than, say, a Tudor Black Bay 58 at a higher retail price, but you do have a little bit more complication with the execution. So I like the way that Breitling is packing in some value, even though this is not technically a value leader in the segment. At $5,600, you can buy... Uh, you know, you can buy a true GMT from Tudor or from Grand Seiko for less than that retail price. And those calibers will be an in-house design. So technically, if you are interested in this watch, you're not buying this to get a value proposition, an industry leader at a particular price segment. No, you're buying this for the style. You're buying this for the fit. You're buying this because it speaks to you, because you like it, and that is the way to collect watches. So I will interject some personal opinion here. If you like this, if you have the ability to buy this and spend $5,000 on this watch, then tune out the moaners and groaners who will try to nitpick this watch. Yes, it's not a leader, but it, it does have its place in the lineup for Breitling. Now, personal preference, I prefer the larger chronograph, the chronomat and the super chronomat. I can pull off the super chronomat with my large wrists. And I, I don't know, there's something about a large, beefy, brightling design that really speaks to me. But the more I see these more traditional sized, uh, you know, watches that have the elegance and simplicity, the more I'm coming around to this style. So again, I think there will be a lot of watch fans who will really like this more traditional size because it wears slightly smaller than a 40 millimeter sports piece. I would say it's smaller than a sub. It's also slightly lighter than a sub at 150 grams weight on the lovely Rulo bracelet. I like the fact that Breitling does among the best sapphire crystals in the industry with anti-reflective treatment on the top of the crystal as well as the underside of the crystal so you can see the simple dial with a high degree of clarity. And when you have a light source that has a direct reflection on that crystal, it has that iridescent blue sheen with the dual applied ARC, which is something that I really like personally. Now the movement within the case is the Breitling Caliber 32, which essentially is an ETA design with 21 joules, a four Hertz beat frequency, 42 hours of power reserve, and the fact that this is not a true GMT, it is a dual time with a quick set date. And uh, like all Breitling calibers, this will be certified by the COSC. Now, I also like some of the other dial details here with the old B logo, the red accent for GMT and on the GMT hand. And then the fact that this just carries a simple sunray finish, a good backdrop for your minimal text 
your applied markers with the T-shape for the loom. And I also like the color matching going on. So we have the index ring or your chapter ring with the 24 indexes color matched to the dial. And then the date aperture at the six o'clock, that wheel is color matched to the dial. So I think, again, a lot of you will enjoy the date placement, the blackout nature of the chapter ring and date wheel. And overall, just the simplicity and the smaller fit on wrist this definitely has a lot going for it. Now, I will also say, if you can try on the green version in person, the color is exceptional. I think it might be the best green on the market, which kind of pains me to say as someone who wears the Hulk on a regular basis, it is a very vibrant and dynamic and eye-catching green, and I'm glad to see it here on the automatic GMT-40. Now, just to sum up here, this watch, it has style. It has presence, just like the larger Chronomat and Super Chronomat do, but it also now carries a degree of elegance and simplicity with the more simple design and the scaled-down proportion. And I just don't think you can say the same thing about the larger versions, even though personally, I prefer the larger versions with the chronograph feature. If you buy any model of the chronomat, I think you need to buy it on the roulette bracelet. It is such a dang cool bracelet, beautiful, functional, and very distinctive. So guys, let me know if you have any specific questions about the automatic GMT-40 or perhaps the chronomat or super chronomat. I'll do my best to answer your questions. And if you're shopping for any Breitling or Tudor or Grand Seiko, I will leave my recommended authorized dealer in the description of this video, which is Brent Miller Jewelers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So shout out Brent Miller. Thank you for watching today. Let me know if you have those questions and I'll see you guys next time.